here in Mombasa to try out street foods downtown in the old town. I just caught a Buddha. No, not a Buddha, a tuk tuk. <laughs> I wanted to take a Buddha, but uh, this guy he managed to convince me. I had finally reached my very last destination in Africa, the coastal city of Mombasa in Kenya, from where I would ship my motorcycle to Oman in the Middle East. As Honey the Honda would spend more than a week on a container ship, I thought I would get the most out of my time on the coast of Kenya. Mombasa is the second largest city in Kenya after Nairobi, and it is also the oldest city in Kenya, with an amazing history dating back to around 900 AD. Hello everybody and oh, you welcome too. to Yuan. Hi. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> <laughs> we are here at Treasury Square, which is actually a pretty cool place because the county of Mombasa is uh, ruled from here and the governor lives just uh, behind us right there. And the court is here. The Muslim court is here. So we met up here. And Yohan is going to take me on a tour to eat a lot of good food today. I'm so excited. Ah! I almost didn't eat anything today because I wanted to have an empty stomach. The location on the coast and proximity to the Arab Peninsula and India made Mombasa a strategically important trading port for ivory and spices and has been controlled by Oman, Portugal and the British until Kenya's independence in 1963. This makes Mombasa a colorful, diverse melting pot where Muslims, Christians, Maasai, Hindus and many other ethnic groups live side by side with a culinary culmination of all these different cultures as a result. Okay, so we call this one kibibi, mostly uh, in English is like rice pancake. Ah. So it also has some cardamom and cinnamon, some spices in it. This is the Kenyan chapati. Uh, this one is viazi. Viazi is Irish potatoes. Ah. So it, it is just uh, boiled potatoes, but uh, they put it in a um, flour coated um, color. They, you can put, you can actually put any color you want, but mostly Mombasa people prefer this the yellow. Color. Mm. This is uh, ginger. No, 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 no. This one is chutney. Oh, it is, it is the sauce. That so the ginger made. smell is that from the tea? From yes, from the right. coffee. This oh. is coffee. We call them kahawa. Oh. So I thought this was a this, tea. One, this one is sweet coffee. This one is unsweetened coffee. So in Swahili we call this one kahawa sweet. Kawa tamu. Kawa tamu? Tamu is uh, sweet. Uh -huh. This one is kahawa chungu. Like Ka kahawa bitter. chungu. Bitter. This one we call it uh, katlesi. Katlesi? katlesi it has minced meat inside. So oh, just nice. Small, sweet meat. So you take this, dip in the sauce. Okay. Mm. This coffee is absolutely delicious. So you say they really boil it and then it's mixed with cinnamon is my guess? Yeah, is that the only spice or? Cinnamon, mostly cinnamon and cardamom. So this one is a cap lacy. Do I say that correctly? And it's like a mashed potato filled with beef and onion and some herbs and spices. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. First stop was a little secret pop-up coffee shop by the water behind the popular restaurants. A place I would have missed if I didn't have Yuan to guide me to the best spots. Here, mostly Muslim gentlemen would come to meet and have a snack before dinner. Next stop was at a lady who served cooked sweet potatoes and arrowroots out of a bucket. Ah, yeah. Say it again. Arrowroots. Arrowroots. Yes. Doma. 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 Kwasi. 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 Kwas
in the local dialect. While eating this rather starchy snack, Joanne and I enjoyed the beautiful architecture of the Mombasa Old Town and the very first hotel in this historical city. Yeah. Okay. So, so far we've had chapati, katlesi, then we had the rice pancake, kibibi, kibibi. and then we had this uh, lovely relish, biazikarai. Viazi karai. So then we had the potatoes, sweet potatoes. What do you call them in Swahili? Viazi. Viazi. I'm learning here. Please don't examinate me by the end of this, okay? <laughs> I will have to look at the video in order to remember. <laughs> It was now time to hit Makadara Road that is popular for its grilled meat. Mm, looks good, looks good. So Joan, what are we having here? Mushikaki. Mushikaki? Yes, mushikaki is uh, beef skewers. Beef skewers? Mm -hmm. And then some cut um, cabbage and some carrots. Yeah. Take it in. So if you are taking this, you want to, to dip this into... Ah, okay. I see. Let me see if I can figure it out. If I take this, oh, it's so hot. Some salad, and you dip uh, here, and then I dip. <laughs> and then I take a sip of mm -hmm. my sugarcane yeah, juice. Good. Jambo. The food party is not over. <laughs> we are now moving to the shish kebab. Mm -mm. And here we have tamarind that we are dipping everything tamarind in. Sauce, yes. So I take some meat mixed with some vegetables. I've learned it by now. Oh, it's very hot. And then I dip it. And then I try not to spill on myself, which is a challenge. <laughs> Oh my god, it's good! Mm. Next on the menu was grilled whole fish. Which one? Needless to say, I was very full by now, but Johan insisted we visit a little lady who makes the most amazing falafel on our way home. And this is falafel? Mm -hmm. And so this one is? The coconut chutney. Oh, coconut chutney? I'm gonna have the coconut stuff. At this point, my brain and body had stopped functioning, as all energy was focused on digestion. Mm. Mm. It's too much. <laughs> all right, this tour is definitely over. This lady, she killed me, 100%. I'm dead. I am hit by the food hammer. I can hardly breathe. And we actually don't need the vehicle home. We can just roll home, really. Thank you, honey. It was delicious. But, uh...